Hello guys. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always stopping by. President Bola Mektunubo has been given 42 hours to get the kids release of faith shutdown. You understand of the country. This is coming from the northerners. You know, after the Friday scenario, when we saw you know those children fainting in the in the courtroom and all that, and the federal government lawyers justifying the fact that these children who are less than seventeen years old should be you know. Uh, by when I know what I mean, okay, because they charge them up for treason, and that is the punishment for it. By you, children who are less than 17 years, uh, the federal government are afraid of this case that they are set to overthrow President Bola Mektunubu from uh, uh, power. You understand? So they are trying these children, you know, to make sure that say they buy them last because that is the punishment for treason. So it was a national embarrassment on on Friday when they brought these children, you know, to court. People were like, "What's going on here? These children?" And to <laughs> to make matter worse, you see Nigerian police justifying the fact that these children, you know, they can, you know, face trial because they are more than they are both thirteen years, they are both seven years. I mean, I meant to say they are both seven years. You see, not us now they are afraid of, or can I say, they are very angry with President Bola Tinubu. They are very angry with President Bola Tinubu, but they are now regretting why they never supported Peter Obi. They are now regretting why they never supported Peter Obi. I've said this thing time without number. The only remedy for Nigeria is when we will throw away this religion and uh, tribalism. Northerners saw that Muslim Muslim ticket, you know, as a a very good um, advantage to them. You understand? So they want to make sure that they do whatever that is possible to get Muslim Muslim, the the president Muslim and the vice president. But you see, you cannot be smarter than God. Even President Bola Metinubu, they thought that is going to. You know, they will manipulate uh, by the end of the day. President Bola Metinubu don't turn to a kind of big bone on their throat. They never expected that Tinubu is going to turn this way. They Because they always think or they always feel they would like or they want to manipulate somebody. Mostly uh, uh, leaders from the South. But they are seeing Tinubu as a big problem. These children who were arrested... Uh, during the August protest, they are all from the north. So, Northerners are saying if President Bola Metunubu did not get these children released, Nigeria will be shut down. Well, they are not the only ones saying this. Uh, even Sarep have also said, have you know, uh, a joint hand with the Northern, Northerners to say President Bola Metunubu have 48 hours to get these kids released. According to a report from Daily Post, the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SAREP as well, has called for the immediate and unconditional release of all and bad governance protesters, including the 32 children described as hungry and minorished. The organization also issued a statement urging President Bola Metunubu to leverage his leadership position to direct the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Mr. Latif Febemi San, to take urgent steps for their release. This demand was articulated in a letter signed by Sareb Deputy Director Kulawale Oluwadari on Sunday, November 3rd, 2024. So the letter was also sent to Dr. Matthew, the Chair Repertoire of the UN, working group on arbitrary detention, highlighting the international concern surrounding the issue. Sarep also stipulated that measures must be taken within 48 hours of the receipt and or publication of this letter. The organization warned that it will consider appropriate legal actions to compel the Nigerian government to compel comply with its request in the public interest, if necessary. 
So according to Sarep, the detention of these children and other protesters is solely due to their peaceful exercise of human rights. The organization stated bringing charges against children and detaining them simply for the peaceful exercise of their human rights is clearly not acting in the best interest of the child. The organization further emphasized that the detention of the 32 hungry and minority children also infringes their right to education. These children are to be in school and not languishing in detention. So you see, the, the Sarep and the Northern, Northerners, you know, Northern elders, they are now in, you know, in the same page, the same 48 hours, 48 hours. Children who are supposed to be in school, who are supposed to have free education, is now being detained by their government because they said they are hungry. The government is very far from the reality. There is, no, there is nothing you can do about it. These situations, if it's not addressed, it will still be there. And this will not still stop it. All these ones is just to create panic for other people not to at least tomorrow participate. But you see, pregnant women can never hide the big belly. You understand? Even someone who is having cancer, when you talk, it shows. So there is no how Nigerian government will claim that these things they are saying is not correct. You understand? It's not correct. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.